So here's a cool example. We're looking at the definite integral from 2 to 10 of this function. And it tells us to use a four-term left Riemann sum approximation. What does any of that mean, right? It's not as fun as using the calculator as using the FNINT, in which case we'd be done like immediately. But let's kind of wrap our minds around what's going on here. So this function, the one on the inside, looks a little bit something like this. It's a parabola. And so when we're using this four-term left Riemann sum approximation, what it's saying is if you remember back to 5.1, it wants us to use subdivisions, right? And it wants us basically to have four intervals. So we want four subdivisions, one, two, three, four. And we want this to start at two. We want it to end at 10. And then for the height, we're going to use the remember the big idea of what we're trying to calculate here is the area under the curve in this area and in between 2 and 10 we're trying to calculate the area under the curve and so when we're doing this approximation we're just going to be doing the area of some rectangles and the height of the rectangles is going to be decided by the left end point of the interval so for this for from 2 to let's let's figure out what each of these points are first so 10 minus 2 is 8 divided by 4 tells me that the length of my intervals should be 2. So it should go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Perfect. Now let's see what my rectangles look like. So my first rectangle is going to be here. That go, that's my rectangle from 2 to 4. And the reason my rectangle is this high is because that's how high f of 2 is. Now my next rectangle that starts at 4 goes up to where f of 4 is and then it just goes straight and then goes down. My rectangle after that, let's put bottoms on these rectangles, my rectangle after that will go up to f of 6 and then it'll go over and go down. It's my yellow rectangle. And then finally uh, let's use a dark green rectangle here. This is my last area goes up that high. So you can kind of see that we're going to be underestimating our definite integral. We want to get the exit if we're missing some spots, right? But to use this four term Riemann sum approximation, we're just got to get the area of each of these four rectangles. So we really want a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4. Right? And so each of these, we're just going to use the formula that we know and love, the base times height. Right. So the base and height of the pink rectangle are 2 times, that's the base, and then f of 2 is, I just plug in 2 here. So 3 times 2 squared plus 1. Now we're going to add that to the area of my orange rectangle, which is going to be base, which is 2, and then times my height, which is, I don't plug in 2 now, I plug in 4 into my function, because this is the height that I'm using. Right? So I'll have 3 times 4 squared plus 1. And that off there. And then I'm going to add that to my third area, which will be 2, which is my base, and then I multiply that by my height, which is going to be f of 6 this time, right? So I'll have 3 times 6 squared plus 1. And then my final square will be same thing, base of 2, and then 3 times 8 squared plus 1, right? The height of my rectangle here is this. And again, I'm just plugging in 8 into my x. So I'm adding up these four rectangles, and hopefully we can see how adding up these four areas, the pink, the orange, the yellow, and the green areas, gives me an approximation for the area, the total area underneath my curve, which would look something more, it would actually go all the way up to the top, right? This is the area I want, this fully shaded in area, but this is the area that I'm going to get, and that's why we call it an approximation. If you plug this into your calculator and actually add everything up, you'll get 744. So that would be the answer if it asked you to estimate this.